Tanya Lozano has activism running through her veins. Raised by activist parents, she has been striving to bring change since her freshman year of high school. Now she is the co-founder and CEO of Healthy Hood Shy. She joined Tanya and I to discuss the impact it's made right here in Chicago. Tell us how it works. Yeah, so in Chicago, there's a 20-year life expectancy gap between communities of color and affluent communities. Uh, so we... First of all, it's the largest life expectancy gap that exists in the country. Um, and that's not because Chicago is the most poor or anything like that. It's because Chicago is historically known to be the most segregated city mm -hmm. in all of the country. Mm -hmm. And so disparities are magnified here. Um, we talk about what systemic racism looks like and things like that. And the healthcare system really embodies what all of the systems have wrong with them. And so we really wanted to tackle the quality of life for our people first through health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've talked about intergenerational cultural education uh, for black and brown folks. What does that mean? A part of a, the, a lot of the reason why we have a, a hard time creating the space for self-determination, creating the space mm -hmm. to determine what our own destiny is as people of colors, that we've been so detached from our own history. We are a di diasporic people, right, as people of color in the United States of America, and we've lost a lot of our ties to our ancestors, mm -hmm. and for that reason, we lost our knowledge of medicine, natural medicine, how to care for each other, what community looks like, because naturally, as people of color, we are community people, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so it starts with talking to our our ancestors talking to our elders it starts with learning our history learning our stories so that we can better figure out how to navigate who we are now and what we need to do to just better our lives and how do young people receive that message it's interesting right because I feel like especially now with Gen Z and kind of the younger generation there's a distaste for how things have been done for so long because mm -hmm. we've seen that change has been super slow mm -hmm. right and as Gen Z they're like instant gratification they want things to move quick and they just want to do away with all the old ways and start fresh um, and so it's it's a challenge right because we have to also acknowledge that there were some things that were done wrong and that continue to perpetuate you know mm -hmm. throughout history but there's so much we can learn um, from the good things that were established because ultimately the last generation laid the foundation for us to continue the fight for freedom sure. to continue to the fight to self-determination as people of color and that is valuable education that we need to continue to teach each other you were mentioning the last generation of course your parents are part of that work is that where your inspiration comes from absolutely I mean <laughs> I love my parents I talk about them anytime I ever introduce myself I am the daughter of Emma Lozano and Reverend Slim Coleman I'm proud to say that because uh, I always say my parents did not tell me how to live they lived and let me watch and that's Ooh. how I learned through action um, social justice and social activism was a part of daily life in our home both of my parents are also pastors and so I saw them build congregations of ultimately build communities and, and where mutual aid was a natural uh, occurrence right um, and so yes they're definitely my inspiration definitely one of them a couple of the many mentors that I have established because of who they are and how much work they've done in the community I have access to some of the most amazing people I mean I could just Reverend Jesse Jackson yeah. Minister Louis Farquhar just a lot of different people who I can tap into for different advice and you know choose to take the the good choose to leave behind the bad yeah, and the keep it moving yeah. perspective of, absolutely of, of, of it all so you talk about health and wellness is where your uh, your journey right now is taking you you had a, a history where you were a dancer mm -hmm. and then you played was it basketball mm -hmm. yes and, and and talk about how that has formed what you are trying to teach the kids now yeah I mean it's all about movement you know movement in the in the literal sense but then movement in how we move as a community as a collective and so dance was just my way to break into the community like I said I've had to be very strategic our people have been detached from who they really are they've been the truth of who we are as black and brown people has been taken from us we've fallen into the broken cracks of the broken systems and so forth and so it was how I engaged them and at first I didn't come on super strong I don't even come in here like revolution right away you know like it was a gradual mm -hmm. process and I had to be it had to be attractive for what was needed at the mm -hmm. time and what was needed at the time was a space for people to move to practice healthy practices um, and so that's how it kind of started for me it was like a natural way like you said I played basketball I was an athlete and it really was in college as a collegiate athlete where I realized that we have been so 
deprived of what it is to be cared for physically, but also in all the other ways too. But I mean, like like we said, that's the first thing, you know, if your body's not taken care of, how can you even allow mm -hmm. your brain to yes. go there, right? So um, just starting that process, that's the first step, right? Mm -hmm. But ultimately, we need to be a self-sustainable community. You have to meet people yeah. where they are. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you've got to tailor the message what you're doing. And we've got your website up. Can people go there to find out how they can help and support you? Absolutely. You can donate on Healthy Hood. Uh, shy.com, shy like Chicago, C H I. You can also find our fitness and wellness classes schedule. All are only five dollars. Um, we also have a variety of political education events, and we just started Sunday sessions, which is kind of our take on what church should look like for the new generation of diasporic people. Love oh, it. Thank you. Lovely? Yeah, Tanya, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Love the name, girl. Love mm -hmm. the name. Thank Love you. It.